Hey guys, my name is Sierra Mills here with Simple Speech Homework. And if you know me at all, you know that I love all things farmhouse. So I was really excited to share this idea with you about how you can practice the parts of a story using some mason jars. One of my favorite things. So here's what we're going to do. The parts of a story are very important for your child to understand. You may even read on your child's IEP or hear their speech pathologist or their teacher say a big fancy word called story grammar. Now story grammar is just a big word for parts of a story and your child will continue to have to identify parts of a story and understand parts of the story as they go along in their academic career. So it's important that we can practice those skills early on so they have a firm foundation. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna identify four parts of our story using mason jars, and then we're gonna put it into practice with a common fairy tale such as Goldilocks and the Three Bears, okay? So one story element or part of a story we need to know about is called the setting. And the setting talks about the place of the story. So this might be a city, the woods, the ocean. The setting is the place. The next part of a story are the characters. So you might have multiple characters in a story. Notice in each of the jars there are some popsicle sticks. You could use popsicle sticks, you could use pieces of paper, it doesn't matter. You're just going to read a story and then label the, that element of that story and put it in the correct jar. So for this case we had multiple characters, so we have multiple sticks. Characters are the people or animals in our story. Then we always have a problem in the story. We all know what a problem is. A problem is when something goes wrong. And then every problem has a solution or the answer to the story. So those are our four story elements or parts of a story. Let's practice it with a common tale such as Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So if I were you, I would read this story to my child and then I'd say, okay, let's get out our story jars and identify the different parts of our story. So we would get out our jar and we might say, that the setting, hmm, where was the setting? The setting is a place. The setting was in the woods in our story. Who were our characters in our story? That was Goldilocks and the three bears. What was the problem in our story? Hmm, the problem was that Goldilocks snuck into the bear's house and the bears came back and found her. And what was the solution or the answer to our story? The solution was Goldilocks woke up, ran out of the house and never saw the bears again. You just identified, helped your child identify four major parts of a story using mason jars. And the beauty of this is you can switch the popsicle sticks or pieces of paper around and so then and kind of trick them up and then they would be like, wait a minute, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, that doesn't go in the setting, that goes in the characters. And you can get extra practice in that way. So I hope that was fun. I hope this helps keep things simple for you this school year as you're working on new things and new skills with your child. And as always, if you have any questions, just let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.